Welcome back to Let's Play The Signal, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... Well, that's a mess of malevolent TVs down there being controlled by the other Alan. Uh, Zane was trying to explain how any of that makes sense when things grew more unstable, and now we've got to destroy those TVs. Well... To prove that this Alan deserves to live, I guess. First, I'm going to put a jump cut. Okay... Let's see about putting these TVs in the ground. Damn it, didn't get behind the uh, thing in time. Abandoned by his only ally, all we can do is accept you. Oh, I don't love that sound. Hey, it's a refrigerator. Awesome. The scope of this horror was unimaginable. It would have been so much easier to let go. Fuck you, Daryl. Oh, hey. Perfect timing. I don't think the other Alan enjoys that, you guys. Everything he saw was a twisted memory, a stray thought. Even as oh. evil he faced came from within. Yeah, I wish. I don't like that that's already moving. Oh, boy! Boy, that was stressful. Oh, boy. Hey, there's also Barry, I'm just saying. Or the imaginary Barry. Yeah. The scope of this horror was unimaginable. It would have been so much easier to let go. What? Oh. What is doing that? I did think of the evil within just now. It burns. It burns. It burns. But uh what did he have left to fight for? He'd lost everything even before he came here. Huh. Even his sanity was gone. What was the point? goes for a walk on the beach and uh, finds that a violent storm the previous night had beached hundreds of starfish just lying there on the sand waiting for the sun to rise higher than it was now and cook them all, dry them out and kill them. And he walks further down the beach and he finds a small boy who is walking around the beach picking up starfish and tossing them back into the sea. And the man stops and watches the kid for a while. 
and uh, you know tries to figure out a uh, a why. He uh, finally feels his curiosity get the better of him, and he walks over and he asks the kid, "What are you doing? Why are you throwing them back in?" There's so many of them, you could never get them all if, uh, you know, before the uh, sun comes up and kills them. So what's the point? Why does it matter? And the kid looks at him. He stares at him for a long moment, and then he bends down, picks up another starfish, and throws it in the ocean. And then he points very vehemently after that starfish and says, it matters to him. You want to know what the point is, Other Alan? If I've lost everything before I ever came here? It matters to me! one shit and there was a pipe there's a big round pipe that killed me I don't think he enjoyed that very much oh boy thanks there oh you won Right? Yeah, I need those batteries. I find it interesting that it really doesn't matter where you hit them, you have to hit them with three bullets. was goddamn flying. Serious question, how could you miss? Yeah, that's more like it. Her here. I'm so 
Rico. No. God damn. big guy. Maybe it's time to stop freaking out and take a few deep breaths, huh? If you really are me, you need to calm down. That hurt me so much. Oh no! It's moving! I, I mean, I thought it was just gonna sit there, but. Birds, 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 birds! You just realize it's kind of funny I got this? With the, uh, the books? Uh, yeah, shout out to rnick93. He says, The funniest thing in this episode? It was the episode at, uh, uh, uh Theseus, the one I was moving through the hedge maze at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Uh, the funniest thing in this episode? BDF attacking thin air instead of the Taken. I mean, birds aren't real. Everyone knows that. <laughs> well, birds might not be real, but books definitely are. <laughs> It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really, way. Really, way. Come on. Your delusions are your delusions. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Thought. No. No. There's no way out. No way out. No, I don't remember what brought us to this. What places we blindly passed to be continued when things really matter. So it really is another piece of Alan. Alan's psyche is fractured, I guess. I'm part of it, and other Alan is uh, the other part of it. I can't remember if they explicitly spell this out or if it's just a conclusion I came to. But I think Other Alan is the, uh, the part of Alan Wake that doesn't think he can make it, that doesn't think it can survive the Dark Place, or he can survive the Dark Place. And the part I'm, the one I'm controlling is the part of Alan Wake that still has hope. Very ominous. Well. I'm burning dog face. 
I hope you've enjoyed the first DLC chapter, The Signal. But we're not done here yet. There's still one chapter to go. So I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you when we pick up with the writer on the final segment of Let's Play Alan Wake. Again! Till then, try to hold your mind in one piece and stay in the light. Love needles and hay. The life I knew by heart and lived every day. The secret codes and signs.